हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दीप शिखा नारायण एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर बिफोर आई कैन स्टार्ट द टॉपिक आई विल शो यू वाट आर द टॉपिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस कोर्स आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक विल बी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर देन सिस्टम बस एंड सिस्टम बस आर नथिंग बट द कम्युनिकेशन लाइन्स between microprocessor and input output devices and uh, third topic will be internal architecture then pin description functional description programming model and programming model is the conceptual representation of information needed to write programs addressing modes and uh, addressing modes means uh, various ways of specifying data for the instructions and uh, all instructions with examples and our last topic will be memory mapping and memory in memory mapping we will show how memory devices are located in the entire range of address and uh, book suggested for this course is microprocessor architecture programming and applications with 8085 by ramesh gaunkar <coughs> so let's start with the our first topic 8085 microprocessor introduction <coughs> this is how our chip looks like and uh, it is a 8 bit digital semiconductor chip designed by intel in 1977 using nmos technology and it has 40 pins 20 on this side and 20 will be on this side it requires plus 5 volt dc power supply and operates at 3 megahertz single clock frequency at the heart of all personal computers and most working stations sits a microprocessor and word microprocessor can be abbreviated as nup so we can call 80 microprocessor as 8085 nup also so next point will be microprocessor also control the logic of almost all digital devices from washing machine to fuel injection systems for automobiles it is like a cpu of a traditional computers and uh, it consist of three main sections as arithmetic logic unit control unit and several registers this is our cpu and if we need input output devices and memory then we need to connect it externally and this cpu is our microprocessor so now we will move to our next topic which is system bus before that i can tell you that uh, word peripheral will be used several time in this lecture and it is very common term to refer input output devices now start with the system bus <coughs> system bus are group of conductors and wires it is the communication lines between microprocessor and peripheral devices it carries bit as our microprocessor is a digital device so it will take bits and it will provide bits there are three types of buses in our 8085 microprocessor and first will be data bus second is address bus and uh, third is control bus we will discuss one by one these all three buses data bus are 8 bit in length these are group of 8 lines and it is used to transfer data between microprocessor memory and input output device and uh, 
its direction will be bidirectional now our next bus is address bus and it is of 16 bit in length it is group of 16 lines identified as a0 to a15 it is used to transfer address of either a memory location or input output device from the processor means it will transfer address of a memory location or address of input output device from the processor at the it is highlighted term is from the processor it means it will be di unidirectional and direction will be always from microprocessor to input output device or to memory suppose uh, this input output devices and memory we are represented it as a house for better understanding and its uh, house number is 65 129 in, in the 837 then work of uh, address bus is to pass this house number from the processor to the input output device or memory <coughs> so it will pass the number 65 129 and 837 so we can say that uh, this address bus will pass address of the memory location or input output device from the processor now we will see the maximum mo memory can be connected to a microprocessor and we will see that it depends on number of address lines and number of data lines and it will be equal to 2 to the power m into n in bits where m will be number of address lines and n will be number of data lines <coughs> and for the 8085 microprocessor as we know number of address lines is 16 and number of data lines are 8 so it will be 2 to the power 16 into 8 means 64 kilobyte as 1024 bits are equal to 1 kilobyte and how this memory location we can see in the memory device suppose now we will see this memory representation this is our memory and each memory location will be represented by will be a register stack of register suppose this is r0 to r1 to r2 to different rx suppose <coughs> and number of register will depend on number of address line and data line so it and uh, that will be not data line only on address line it will be 2 to the power 16 means 65536 number of register we can connect here the address will start from 0 to 65536 in hexadecimal it will be 0000h to fffh and for the each memory location means each register will be of 8 bit in length like this so total bits present in this memory device will be 64 kilobyte <coughs> now I we will move to our next topic which is control bus and there is too much difference between control bus and other buses like data bus and address bus as data bus was group of 8 lines and our address bus was group of 16 lines but control bus are the single lines 
and it will be partially unidirectional and partially bidirectional. It generates timing and control signals which are necessary for execution of the instructions. It controls the entire operation of the microprocessor and its connected peripherals. So here we are st stopping for today's lecture and uh, in next lecture we will start architecture of 8085 microprocessor. Till now, thank you for listening to me and stay healthy, stay happy, goodbye.